Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video, we're gonna go over five quick animation tricks that you can use for your BuildBox games. And if you think this video is useful and you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe. All right, so first on the list is creatively using the flag effect. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to add a Superman cape to your character real quick, but we're gonna need an illustrator for this. Now, normally I use Affinity Designer or Pixelmator. I've been using those a lot, but I wanna give you a free illustrator to use right now. So we're gonna use GIMP. So I'm gonna show you how to download that real quick. All right, so first you wanna type in GIMP download into a Google search bar. And then you wanna go ahead and select GIMP downloads here. All right, and if you are using a Mac, then you wanna go ahead and click the download button right here. But if you're a Windows person, then you wanna select Windows and then click the download button. So after you're done downloading GIMP and you open it up, you should see something like this. Then you wanna go up to file and click new. Make sure that your image size width is 100 and make sure your height is 100 as well. And then click OK. So the reason why we're going with 100 pixels by 100 pixels on this is because we don't want this image to be too large in our atlases and slow down our game, especially for something like a flag animation where this image is only gonna serve as the texture for our cape. We could even go with something that's like 50 pixels by 50 pixels, the smaller the better. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about animation optimization later in this video. The next thing we wanna do is choose the color of our cape. So I'm gonna click on this little black square here and I'm going to choose the color of my cape. I'm gonna make this kind of a darker red. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press OK, and then I'm going to click on my bucket fill tool, and then I'm gonna click on the square here. After that, you wanna go up to the corner, click on file, and then select export as. I'm gonna name this image red cape, and then I'm going to make sure that the image type is PNG image right here. So you might need to click on this and then select one. And then I'm gonna click export. I'm gonna make sure that this is going to my desktop so that I can easily grab it and then I'm gonna click export one more time. So now I'm ready to open up BuildBox. I'm gonna go ahead and click create new and I'm going to select the avoidance template and click create. So BuildBox will generate the avoidance template for us and what I want you to do is go over here to characters and select your character and open up the menu over here on the right side. Now we're gonna easily just drag this character right into our default animation and replace the image for that character. Then I'm gonna click on this little marker button right here which is the edit animation button. This opens up the animation editor and we can see our little character right here. And what we wanna do is we wanna click on effects and then drag in a flag right about there. Now we're ready to grab our red cape image that we made before with GIMP and we can drag it in as the flag's texture. I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees and I'm going to change the start width to 20 and I'm gonna change the end width to 70. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and throw this flag behind our character by hitting Command and then the left bracket on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of my animation editor and let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, that looks pretty good. We've got this awesome red cape behind the character and it kind of adds a little something extra to the character. It looks pretty cool. And you can also change the speed at which the cape moves. You can change the length and you can even change the wave height and the wave length. So you can do a lot with this cape. And there's lots of other uses that you can use the flag effect, but this is just a cool one that I wanted to show you. Okay, so the next trick I wanna show you has to do with animation optimization. Specifically in this case, this is a background image optimization trick. So I'm gonna use an illustrator that I'm comfortable with, but you can use any illustrator you want for this. Okay, so this trick was actually taught to me by Nick Rodenko. So let's say you wanna create a background image like so. And let's say you wanna add a little bit of a gradient to it. Okay, perfect. Now what you can do is you can take this image and you can shrink it down to the size of almost nothing, just this little tiny slice, just like this. Okay, and then you can export this image. And I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna export this image into BuildBox and show it to you in just a second. Okay, so let's say you've got your game over here and we've got that background slice that we created just a moment ago over here on the right. So I'm gonna drag this in as my background. Now, initially you might see a bunch of little lines over here in the middle, but it's really easy with BuildBox to just stretch this out until it fits perfectly and it looks really clean. So now that I've got it fitting in the frame just right, I'm going to drag it below my gameplay layer and I've got this really cool background now. And the best part about this is, is it takes up hardly any space in the atlases. Let me show you what I mean right now. 
So to check out your atlases, you go up to the view menu and you click on atlases. This will open up your atlases window and you can zoom out here to see all of the images that are being used in your game. And you can see over here on the left that we've got that little slice of the background. And you can see that it takes up hardly any space relative to the other images. So that's a really great strategy for optimizing your images and your animations and especially for your background. So that's a good little trick. All right, so the other cool animation trick I wanted to show you is creating a particle emitter trail. So the particle emitter trail that I wanted to show you is going to be like the one used in the game Wall Switch. It tapers down as the character continues to move and it looks really smooth. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So for this example, I'm gonna hit create new and then I'm going to select the jump tower preset and then I'm going to hit create. I'm gonna do a real simple example of this. So I'm gonna select my characters menu and then I'm going to select my character and open up the menu over here on the right. Then I'm gonna click on the edit button to open up the animation editor. Now that I've got my animation editor open, I'm gonna go over here to my effects menu and I'm gonna drag in a particle emitter. For right now, I'm gonna leave the particle emitter on top. I'm gonna to select it and then I'm gonna hit the edit button over here on the emitter. This is gonna open up the particles editor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my little particle emitter there and I'm going to exit out of the texture image that comes stock with the particle emitter. And I'm gonna drag in my own image and it's just going to be a white circular ball, just like our character. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings on this particle emitter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the number of particles from 150 to only 10. And then I'm going to change the emission rate to 10 as well. I'm going to change the start size to 25 and I'm going to change the end size to 1. And this is what's going to create the tapering effect. I'm gonna leave all the settings here the same, but I'm going to change the life to 0.5. All right, and then that should do it. So I'm gonna exit out of my particle emitter, and I'm gonna take this particle emitter, and now I'm gonna hit Command and then the left bracket on my keyboard to throw it underneath the character image in the layer tree here. So you can see that it jumps up and down. You can also just drag it up and down here. I'm gonna exit out of my animation editor, and then I'm gonna hit play and test this out. And now we've got this cool little trail here. But we can see here that the white ball is going from white to black. As it's tapering down, it is turning black. So we can change that as well if we want. So let's go ahead and exit out of our preview window here. I'm gonna go back to my animation editor and I'm gonna select my particle emitter and change one more setting on the particle emitter and I'm gonna change it so that the color stays white. So I'm going to double click on my little marker here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it change very little. I think we could go all the way white or almost white and it would be about the same. So I'm gonna press okay here and then I'll exit out of my particles editor and my animation editor and then now let's take a look at it. Okay, great. So you can see before that it was turning black at the end, but now it's just staying white. So it's totally up to you. And you can see that the trail is a little bit small compared to the character. So if you want the start size to be bigger than 25, it's really easy to change those settings. And so anything that you want to do to your trail to make it customizable and fit your character, it's all really, really easy to do within BuildBox. All right, so the fourth quick trick for animation is creating defeated animations. So I'm gonna use the jump tower preset for this example again, just because it's really easy. And so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to drag in a, another image of the character that looks really similar. And this one is going to be dragged in as an object. Now I'm going to delete this from my scene and I'm gonna go over here to my character. I'm gonna select my character and then I'm gonna go over here to the defeated animation. I'm going to select the edit button here and open up the animation editor. Now whenever you use a build box preset, the defeated animation is going to come stock with this particle emitter defeated animation. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that defeated animation and we're going to delete it. So I'm gonna grab that particle emitter and then I'm going to press delete on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag out the little white ball object that we brought in earlier. I'm going to change the preset to just decoration and change the object type to physics so that gravity is affecting this. 
I'm going to change the linear velocity, a randomizer, to 50. So this is going to go either 50 in the positive direction, in the x direction, or 50 in the negative x direction. And now I'm going to also put a randomizer of 50 on the y direction. So it either go positive y or negative y in, uh, with a force of up to 50. And then I'm going to change the randomizer on the angular velocity to 50 as well to give it a little bit of variation on that. So now I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add a spawner component. And I'm going to change the spawn rate to 999 so that it's going to create a new one every 999 seconds. And then now I can scale it down to about 20% of the normal size. So I'm going to put 0.2 and 0.2. And then I'm going to zoom in here so that you can see. So this is where our ball was to begin with. And now I'm ready to hit W on my keyboard and to start creating little copies of it. So I'm going to go just about like this and try to create some copies of this. Perfect. OK. And I think I might go ahead and make it as round as I can. OK, cool. So now once our character is defeated, it should send these balls flying in a bunch of different directions. So let's exit out of our animation editor and check this out. So I'm going to press play and let's preview this. So I'm going to purposely let the character be defeated so you can see the bursting animation. OK, cool. That looks good. So that's a quick defeated animation that you can do on the fly. All right, so the fifth and final quick trick for animation is using the trail effect and the mirror effect. So I'm going to show you a real quick example of how to use the trail and mirror effect. I'm going to go over here to my characters menu. I'm going to select my character. And I'm going to go to my default animation for the character. And I'm going to click the Edit button to open up the Animation Editor window. Now I'm going to go over here to the Effects menu. And I'm going to drag in a trail. I'm going to leave the trail on top of the character for right now while I drag in my image. And I'm going to drag in a white square instead of a round ball. Now I'm going to change the end width of the trail to 0. And now I'm going to select my trail and hit Command and then the left bracket on my keyboard to move it underneath my character. Now I'm going to exit out of my animation editor so I can also add a mirror effect. To add a mirror effect, I'm going to go over here to my effects menu and I'm going to drag in a mirror. Now right now, I'm going to set the mirror so that it is right underneath this little bar that the character can stand on, this little platform. And so now I'm going to change the color of this mirror to red so that you can see that you can do different colored mirrors as well. So I'm going to press OK. And now let's take a look at the trail and the mirror effect. OK, cool. So we've got this trail effect going on behind the character. And you can see that it's tapering off. And then now let's jump up and check out what a red mirror effect looks like. OK, great. So you can see here that the reflection is shown on the mirror effect. And it looks pretty cool. So you can do a lot of different things with that. You can create lakes and different mirror effects. And so that might be something you want to add to your game. All right, that's it for this video. If you thought this video was useful and you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.